Several parts of the North Country will get to see a total solar eclipse. In fact, people from outside of the area will flock here to see it. Starting tonight, each week on Tuesdays, we will have a story relating to the total solar eclipse of April 8th, where you can see it, how to do it safely, our hotels booked up. We start tonight learning what a solar eclipse is with Seven News reporter Sean Brenda. Assistant physics professor Dr. Ben Rolston is making sure Clarkson University's telescope at the Reynolds Observatory is ready. So this is the camera and it's all controlled through the computers for a total solar eclipse on April 8th. Total solar eclipse, which is happening this April, uh, April 8th, is when the moon's actually close enough to us, it's appearing bigger in the sky, that it blocks the full disk of the sun, completely blocking the sun's light, allowing us to see uh, what we call the corona on the outside of the sun that's usually quite invisible to us on Earth. There's a path the eclipse will take across the U.S. Some parts of the country won't see it at all. Some areas will see some of it, but other areas are in what's called the path of totality, where people will be able to see the entire solar eclipse. Watertown and surrounding communities are in the path of totality, something that hasn't happened in centuries. Dr. Rolston says on April 8th, hundreds of North Country spectators will look up at the sky and hopefully see the first total solar eclipse more than 454 years. While eclipses happen often on Earth, Rolston says a good number of them take place over the oceans, away from people. While the moon at times can seem close to us on Earth, it's actually 238,000 miles away. Rolston uses a tennis ball and basketball to illustrate. And this is actually kind of usually pretty surprising to students about how, how far away the moon really is from Earth at this scale. Rolston says don't miss this one because the next solar eclipse to be seen from the North Country is set for August 2nd, 2399. Sean Brenda, 7 News.